Hey everyone, this is Zero Prime, and welcome to a let's play of Don't Open Your Eyes. Now, this is a game I found on the Itochi website, and again, I'll have the link in the description box below. But uh, I saw this, and it kind of looked interesting, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So... There's a little bit of a lag right now. There we go. All right, here we go. Oh, my bedroom. It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. Because why would you leave the bedroom door open like that? Because I'm the type of person that leaves my bedroom door closed. At some nights, I mean, uh, some nights I'll leave them open. But generally, I just have my door closed. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look around, look outside my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even turning the but not even the turning gears of my brain are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. Too quiet. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only 10 steps long. I know since I made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. 1, 2, 3, absentmindedly but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just feel like, like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest details. <coughs> but tonight it's different. The hallway looks like it stretches into the no into nothingness, like the throat of a gigantic beast. Log logic thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But... I don't want to look at it. So, just close the door then. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. In my room, there's a bed. In my room, there's a wardrobe. In my room, there's pictures framed on the wall. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Was someone to blindfold me and ask me where to find my to find my way around? I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as nothing changes, having my eyes closed makes no difference. In this room, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. Oh. I heard that. Hmm? What's that sound? Are those footsteps? No, that's impossible. It must be my imagination. But it's getting closer. And closer. And closer. 
and closer. They, they are gone. Right, there's no way someone could be there. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, that is just freaky right there. If I was sleeping and I heard something like that clear the next to my head, I would panic. Open your eyes. Uh, given the fact that this game is called Don't Open Your Eyes, I'm not going to open my eyes. No. I don't open my eyes. Open your eyes. No. No means no. Look at me. I don't wanna. I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? Cause I don't want to look at you. Where are your manners? I have manners and my manners are telling me to not open my eyes. If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? Uh, let's see if a stranger is a human being cause I have no idea what the heck you are. Is that how it is? With freaky things like you? Yes. I can feel someone breathing over my ear. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. I don't want to know your secret. You can keep your secret to yourself. I have never seen myself before. Probably a good reason. <laughs> I don't know if my face is ugly. It's so ugly that everybody died. The end. 10,000 boys who ever gets that reference. I don't know the color of my skin. I don't know if I'm even here. Well, if you're talking and everything, that means you are here. That is why I need you to open your eyes so you can tell me how I look. But I'm also shy. Shy as in a nice shy or shy that, you know, when I open my eyes, they're gonna kill me. Probably for good reason. Like a faded dream. I know you're not asleep. Oh, I'm very much asleep. You listen. With those tiny ears of yours. They look so fragile. Uh oh. Look, I could almost grab them. I feel something caress my ear. Put my fingers around them. Oh boy. And how exactly is this supposed to show that you're a nice guy or whatever the heck you are? If I do, will you scream? Ah, yes! Will I hear your voice? More than likely you will. It was a joke. Not a very funny one. I'm joking. Don't be scared. Ah, uh, how can you not be scared? Hmm? How do you think my eyes? Look, when our cases finally meet, what will you find? Answer me. Okay, um... I would say they look empty. They look empty. Whoa. So whatever I choose, it, he becomes that. The eyes are the window to the soul. That's what someone told me. Long ago, they said that the soul was holy. Yeah, and you're not. Bright. Beautiful. And you're not. Every person has one. Both the good and the evil. But that person said I was the exception. That something like me couldn't possibly own something so holy, so bright, so beautiful. They looked inside of me, took a deep breath, and announced their conclusion with great fatigue. Their eyes, eyes that could see it all, couldn't find anything in there. 
You're a nice guy from Lawn slash Nice Guys, right? I'm sure that if you were to cut me apart, not even blood would flow out. That's a bit extreme right there. Even if I felt it sometimes, crawling through my veins. Maybe that's why I've never seen myself before. Because I'm empty. But isn't that something to be grateful for? How you figure? Because if I were to look and find nothing there, then surely I would feel disappointed. By not looking, I can ease myself of that pain. So maybe this is for the best. Yeah, so stop asking me to open my eyes. I can't remember who was the first to recite these words to me. Nor the second. Nor the third. Nor the several others who came after. The only thing I remember is that they looked as empty as I did to them. Hey, have you ever felt so empty? So devoid of what makes everyone special? That you've embraced the void as your own? No, not really. Have you? Nope. I remain silent. These eyes... Are these... My eyes? Yes. A good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Open... Your eyes. Again, I do not want to open my so you eyes. Won't look at me. No! Even though your eyes are so pretty. Yep, you do belong to r slash nice guys or r slash creepy PMs. I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Round like pearls and shiny like jewels. Whatever you say, creeper. So, so pretty. <sighs> A breath of cold air caresses my eyelash. Ugh, that's kind of creepy. It's fine. We still have time. The night is still and silent. Oh, that's just creepy right there. People are good at closing their doors. Do you know what a door is? Yeah, it was supposed to be something to keep you out, but for some reason I didn't close my door. Of course you know. You have one. a barrier to keep the bad out. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. And sometimes, me. So that makes you bad then. I can't open doors. I find them tricky. In other words, you're not a clever girl. Should I push or pull? Definitely not clever. Should I turn the knob left? Yeah, exactly. But then, how do I get out? And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? He's asking a lot of questions over the concept of a door. So many options. So many things that could go wrong. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. I stare at it for a long time. Excuses. Because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist. To keep me out. Yeah, I can see why that's a good thing. It fills me with the need to go in. So I search for a crevice or a window. Anything that might be open. Anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors, but as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. Well, that's good to know. Every night, I hop across the shadows of the streets. I'm careful, so as to not be caught by the light. 
In my eternal search, I pick a place where to rest. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable, without alerting anyone. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. I feel at home there. So what exactly are you then? But sometimes, just sometimes, an urge swells inside of me. The urge to be seen. So I search hard for a door that's open. For an entryway covered in darkness. And for someone to be at the other end, awake. As if expecting me. Uh, I just forgot to close it, pal. I wasn't expecting anyone. Why is that? Because again, I just forgot to close it like a stupid moron. Are you... afraid? At this point, yes. Do I... scare you? Yep, you do. No. That can't be it. We have been chatting for so long. You haven't chased me out. That means... Welcome me. Where you get your line of logic from? So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand. Oh boy. You would reciprocate and grasp it. I'm sure your hands are warm. So very warm. Because people are always warm. Hey. How do my hands look? Oh boy. When my warmth finally meets yours, how will it feel? Answer me. Uh, they look incomplete? They look incomplete. Hello. That may be so. Amidst my travels, I have lost more. I can imagine. I have left people behind. People who are my chat companions. Just like you are now. So it's no wonder that by leaving them behind, I will leave parts of me as well. Things such as skin, or flesh, or bones, or anything that makes me, me, as... Farewell gifts, you could say. It sounds like an excuse. Yeah, it is, and a creepy one at that. And that's because... It is. Called it. Because I am careless. And overly curious. I can't help but wonder how everything feels to the touch. Like the crust of a tree. Or the surface of a frozen lake. But sometimes... Find something else. Like a building engulfed in a raging fire. I think of the screams in the distance. Or the suffering and death and charred skin. Why would you think that? And wonder, how does that feel? It feels horrible. There you go. So I put my hands to the fire. It hurts. Dissipates, and the smell of charred skin starts protruding from my own. And when I take them out, the feeling persists. That horrible, but intoxicating feeling. Whatever you say, masochist. I seek such extreme sensations. The edge of a knife sometimes provides it. Okay, this got dark real quick. Other times. The fangs of a beast. Most times, however, it's by mere accident. I would place my fingers over a benign surface, only to discover it's covered in spikes. And I would leave my hands there as I traverse along it, leaving parts of my body as a farewell gift. In that sense, it's not so different from what I was saying before. The fire and the blades are friends. They have granted me time.
times of great fun. Okay, I'm not gonna comment about that. So, it's only polite to leave something of yours as a sign of thanks. But there's one thing I've always loathed from these encounters. They're always painful. No, duh! I'd rather they weren't. Hey, have you ever placed yourself in arm's way? Only to feel a satisfaction you've realized is not yours. Uh, no, I would never put myself in harm's way of any kind. Have you? These hands? Are these my hands? Yes. A good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. Will you stop asking me to open my eyes? Open your eyes. Again, stop that. How about no? So you won't look at me, even though my hands could be the same as yours. Uh, buddy, I'm looking at my hands right now and they're fully 100% complete, unlike yours. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. No, we're not. No, I know we are. I can feel it in my skin. Oh, boy. Oh. Can you hear it? Yeah. My skin is pulsating. Ugh. It has been long since this happened. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. I wander the world wanting to be seen. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. But it's not like anyone will do. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Since I could show myself to everyone at once, every living person in this land, and ask them all the same question, someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. But it might not be the answer I wish for. More than likely it's not gonna be that answer. Since I don't want to be judged. I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why. When someone is on the verge of looking at me. I shy away. I hide. Fading into the dark. But you... Might be different. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the same as soon as I open my eyes. Something's gonna happen. You might disappear or you just might kill me. If it's you... It might be possible to stand still. If only for a second. That way you can help me. And we can both be fulfilled. Uh, just thinking about it. It makes me feel... Feel... Something. I cannot describe it. I am not good... With words. Then also you're not good at manners, you're not good at being, you know, socially be acceptable and all that jazz. There was a person in my past... Who taught me to speak like a person. Who did? They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yet, they did. Simply because they could. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. Then why are you asking me to open my eyes to see you? That's kind of the contradiction right there. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? You're nuts, that's why. Maybe it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized, but me, but I will, soon, once you open your eyes. Ah, there it is again, just thinking about 
the moment you unveil your sight onto me, and you'll finally take those bed sheets off your body. Stop being creepy. And you inspect every crevice of mine. Ew. And you finally, finally, finally open those tight lips of yours. Not gonna say anything because that's too easy to um, point out several flaws with that statement. To let me hear what I am. A creep that belongs on Reddit. And to maybe even give me a name. Creep, there you go, that's your name. It makes me feel, but I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. I don't want to. Hey, what does my expression look like when that veil of uncertainty finally disappears? What will we convey to each other? Answer me. Uh... A surprised grimace. Might as well try that. Ah! That may be so. What did I just made? Tonight is the first I hear about my eyes. Or my hands. And the new and unexpected is always a source of surprise. People always act surprised when I show myself before them. So it makes sense that my appearance would surprise me as well. At times, they stop moving, barely looking at me in awe. At others, they scream and run and exhaust themselves to the point they can't think. Others, they don't feel much at all. They sit and stay and attempt to talk. I don't like when they do that. Why? It's like they are not seeing me. Not recognizing me. I much prefer when they freeze. I much prefer when they scream. You see, this is why it makes you a monster, basically. The reaction is what I want. It's a sign that I am there and that my existence means something to them. Yeah, but it's not a positive way. That's why I like you. You did not scream. Yet you did not run either. You were surprised and averted your eyes. But instead, you stayed, listening, acknowledging. You were the first to do this for me. You were new and unexpected. Yet, how odd is this really? Surprise? Yep. No. You say it is, so it must be true. But what I'm feeling right now, what I'm experiencing, it's not the same as those who've seen me. As if their surprise was something different from mine. Hey, have you ever acted surprised? Not because you are, but because you believe that's how you must feel. No, if I act surprised, it's because I'm actually surprised about something. Have you? Nope. This expression is this. My expression. Yes. I see. Thank you. You have truly helped me tonight. These are my eyes. These are my hands. And this is my expression. I consider these my most treasured features. And you have helped me picture them all. No one has done this for me. I feel a connection with you. I'd rather not. One born out of honest gratitude. But there's one step left. You need to make sure of the truth. It is the only way to finally understand each other. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. No. No. Is it? You have still helped me by answering my questions. 
Yes. No one has done that for me before, so I have no right to ask for anything else. No. Uh oh. Music stopped. That is a lie. Uh oh. Ever since I stepped into this room, you have refused to engage with me. Not even once. Because you're creepy! Not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once, not even once. See what I mean? That's creepy right there. Not even once. Did you open your eyes? Not even once. Did you look at my face? You stayed there, acting as if you were asleep. Feigning ignorance and not moving an inch. At times making me believe that our conversation was just in my head. You haven't opened your mouth. But you didn't need to. I can hear far, far beyond what most others can. And I can see further than what others would consider the dark, empty bottom. That's why I know that I wasn't wrong. You are like me. What do you mean? We are the same. No, we're not. You too. Look for what's not there. You too. Reach out for what might hurt you. And you too. Are a liar. The type that shows one thing. And feels another. But you made a mistake. I know you're lying. Uh, no I'm not. Because every answer you've given me so far. Has been wrong. What do you mean? I am not what you said I am. These eyes, these hands, this expression. Uh oh. They aren't mine. Maybe they are yours. But I do not care. Not anymore. Open your eyes. Nope. I didn't want to be judged. I didn't want to be perceived for something I'm not. And that's all you did. So now, you will open your eyes and see me for what I truly am. No. You said so. Remember? I didn't say anything. That in this room, you know how everything looks. Oh crap, you heard me on that part. It was those words that brought me here. So you have to. You have to do right by that which you claimed. It is time. Open your eyes. No. Open your eyes. Again, no. Uh oh. Nope. You had your chance. It's not up to you anymore. Oh, crap and a half. You won't open your eyes. I will. Oh boy. Cracked skull. Ah, uh, your eyes are as beautiful as I imagined. Tell me, my new friend, what do you see? I want to answer, but they grab onto my head and won't let me talk. But what I see, what I see is... Whoa, hello. I close my eyes. Ooh. Open them. Open them now. Open, open, open. I'm dead. Open, open, open. Open, open, open. Oh 
Oops, you did it again. You kill someone because they won't open their eyes. And that little got mixed up. Never mind. Mm. You can't see anymore, right? Yep, because I'm dead. You can't talk anymore, right? Because you killed me. You can't think anymore, right? Then, this is farewell. Thank you for trying, friend. Even though you are a liar, I leave this piece of myself here with you. I must go. I must look for the right person. Someone who can tell me how I look. Someone who can explain to me why everyone looks like that. When they do. Well, I'm dead. There's something in my hand. It's what they left behind. What is it? It feels important. But I can no longer open my eyes. Yeah, that's it. Whew. That was a bit of an interesting short little indie game, that's for sure. Let me just see one thing real quick. Let's just see what happens when we open our eyes. And that way we can end the episode. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's see what happens if we open our eyes. I open my eyes. Oh. There's nothing there. Well, I guess that's what happens when we open our eyes and don't open your eyes. So this was a fun little game, and like I said, I'll have the link in the description below. So if you guys want to try it out for yourself and see what other combination of uh, parts you can give to this, whatever this thing is, and have fun with it. So, in any case, thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you've been enjoying this as much as I have. And as always, leave a comment below, subscribe for more for your update, share us on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias. And don't forget to hit the like button and help out the channel. And turn on the notification bells to, be, to stay up to date on my channel. And also I have a Patreon link in the description box below if you want to help me out in some shape or form. And as usual, thank you for watching everybody and hopefully you have a pleasant day. Bye bye. Thanks for watching everybody. Smartphone users press the button down there. PC users please subscribe to my channel by hitting the link up there. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Also. You there, the one who didn't follow my orders? I'm coming for you now. <laughs>